here with head coach Mark Duffner. Yeah, uh, a, uh, a tough one, just obviously, just with the field conditions. First off, uh, icy, uh, snow, cold. Uh, just talk about what your guys did to be able to battle out here. And, you know, they, they made it a game up until the end. Unfortunately, you, Mary, came away with the win. Yeah, you know, uh, challenge the guys here at half here to just uh, play the last 30 minutes out and just uh, play one play at a time here and, uh, get, you know, give, give it everything they had. You know, we started off that second half uh, um, being able to get a score uh, right away on that first drive, was, which is something that we talked about and really emphasized. So I thought the tide was turning there a little bit. You know, unfortunately, uh, Mary was able to answer. But, yeah, field conditions uh, were certainly tough here today and uh, took, you know, some of the game plan out of, out of, the, out of play for us here today. Yeah, the difference seemed to be those couple of turnovers in the red zone and then that late touchdown on kind of the what looked like he was going to spike it and then he threw it into the end zone. Those were seemed to be the difference makers. Just do you have the same assessment there? Well, you know, the biggest thing, you know, obviously that contributed on the board for sure. And, you know, probably the bigger thing is just the momentum that uh, they were able to gain, gain from those things. You know, the one uh, when we're at the one and we turn it over and then they were able to flip, flip the field. Uh, shortly thereafter with a couple big runs and yeah um, you know like you say you know the um, they're running you know we, we use our timeouts there trying to get, go for a block there and uh, unfortunately we you know we didn't get the block and then they were able to get the punt off and then um, they, they ended up you know pinning us deep here and we, we weren't able to get that uh, field position back or convert a first down you know as they had all three timeouts so that was certainly a momentum swing something that we try and avoid you know before halves you know really try and focus you know the first series of the of the game last series of the half first you know the first series of the third quarter and the you know obviously the last uh, possession of the game hopefully we're, we're in a situation where we have an opportunity to put some points on the board. Jeremy Newman came in in a tough spot and did a lot of good things for you guys offensively. Just talk about, you know, a, a leader for you guys being able to step in and do some really nice things for you. Yeah, uh, Jeremy's uh, been a great leader for us here in the off season. You know, he was here all, all of, or all or most of summer, and you know, he's voted the captain, and you know, he's one of those guys that, you know, uh, leads by example, but also does uh, things uh, vocally as well. He'll step up and um, you know put guys in, in their place uh, as needed. Um, you know, he came in and uh, was able to get some plays, uh, made some nice passes, some nice runs. So he was able to get a spark there um, when he came in. A lot of your seniors were able to make some plays today, especially, you know, that fumble return by Ali Al-Khatib had to be nice to be able to send a senior off with, a, you know, a play like that he was able to make. Yeah, for sure. You know, Ali's, uh, he, he's been a good player for us here, and it uh, certainly was nice to see that uh, he was able to scoop that up and get in the end zone and not, uh, not get uh, reeled in by someone. So uh, it was a nice job by Ali. You send off 12 seniors. Just what, of the, just what is the senior class as a whole meant to this team and how do they how have they led to be able to lead this team into into the future well again I, you know i think our you know the thing that is is happening here is our culture starting to change here a little bit at a time you know it isn't probably changing as fast as um, everyone would like it to but you know that is happening you know th those guys you know uh, what they've done some of those guys have raised raised the bar they've set some records you know they raised the bar for guys that are following in their footsteps here so hopefully that'll elevate uh, you know those guys as play here down the road and then ultimately that should hopefully elevate the play of, of, of the team as a whole yeah a lot of young guys that are returning just what do those guys need, mean for the foundation of this program to be able to move forward? Well, it's critical. You know, I talked to the guys at the end of the game. You know, we got 12 seniors graduating, and, you know, for us to be uh, where we want to be, we got to be graduating 20 seniors. So uh, we got to retain those guys. That's uh, obviously critical. Uh, we got to develop them in the offseason, and then we got to build uh, to it with another class here, and then we got, just got to continue to grow. Perfect. Thanks, Mark. And Good luck in the off season and recruiting and everything that's to come. Okay, thanks, Sean.